everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I'm continuing, this is project number two of my 2021 floral design and today I'm going to be working with a container that has a small mouth or a small opening on it. Here I have a little watering can and I've made a beautiful sunflower arrangement in it. So let me show you how I did that. All right, so here are the items that I'm going to be using for this specific arrangement. You saw that I used sunflowers last week. I'm using them again. I'm actually going to use sunflowers for another arrangement that I plan on doing probably this week, if not for next week. But I have uh, three people, one of them being myself, who want a sunflower arrangement. So that's why I'm working with them, but you can use the same idea for any other type of flower. All right, so as you can see here, I've got my container. This time I'm going to be using a small mouthed container. So I'm using this little pitcher. So I'm going to show you how you can create a little arrangement that will have some body, but it'll look really nice and it won't overwhelm this little uh, watering can. All right, so then I've also got some greenery here, as you can see. I'm only going to be using very little, but I wanted to show you how if you purchase something big like this, it'll go a long way. So I'll be using this in future arrangements as well as another bush that I also purchased. So I've got two of these. For today, I'm going to be using just a few bits from right here on this particular bush. All right, so as I said, I'm going to be using sunflowers, and I've grabbed this lovely bouquet. It has four flowers, and usually, array, you know, bushes like this have odd numbers. They'll have three, five, seven, nine, and so forth. But lately, I've been finding some with even numbers. But I'm only going to be using three flowers if I feel like three flowers is a little too much. I may take this down to just two flowers, okay? So this is what I'm going to be using. I also found this beautiful little bouquet of tulips. This particular arrangement is actually going to be going to my sister-in-law, Susan, and she actually uh, picked out the flowers. We, she wanted something that was red, white, and blue, but we ended up choosing yellow and red. I thought the yellow and red would look really beautiful. She loves sunflowers, or she loves tulips, so we're gonna be using these. I wasn't going to be putting a bow initially on it, and I thought, well, maybe a blue bow would look really lovely, but I don't have anything at this time with a blue, and I wanted something with a checker, so I'm gonna be using this uh, black and white checker, which is, I think it's called a buffalo, so I'm gonna be using that. And then I'm gonna be using some moss, and I've got some green moss right here. I will need some styrofoam, and I'm only going to be using a piece off of this big block, so I'll show you how you can also use a large piece and cut it up and use it in several arrangements. So for now, I'm going to use a small piece for this particular arrangement. Now for the tools that I'll be using to put my arrangement together, I'll be using some wire cutters. I'll be using this little knife to cut up my styrofoam. It's just a regular little steak knife that I got at the Dollar Tree. I call it my craft knife, so that's what I'll be using. I'll need some scissors to cut my ribbon. To tie my bow, I'll need some wire. You can use a, a piece of chenille stem if you prefer. And then I've got these here that are called greenery pins. And my glue of choice is always hot to glue. All right, so our first step is to always prep our container. So I've got my container right here, and I'm going to need some styrofoam to fit into the mouth. I don't need it to go all the way in. It could just be right on the outside, but I want to make sure that it will fit nice and tight so that it doesn't slip in. So I'm gonna cut up a piece, just to more or less the size here. Okay, so that's a good enough piece to get started. So I'm just going to place it on here and decide which areas I'll need to chip off. So I'm actually going to turn this around so I can see and just make some markings with my knife. And then I'll cut those pieces off first. I'm going to compare and just chip off a little bit at a time. My counter's wet because I just washed this and it's had some water still in there. Okay, so it's still not going all the way in, so I'm going to start doing a little bit of cutting inward. This is the bottom I want to go inside, so I'm going to cut inward like that, leaving this top wide because I want this to rest on top of here. Each time I shave off a little bit, I'll be trying it until it fits the way that I want it to fit. Okay, so I've got it to where I want it to fit. Now be careful pushing it in. I pushed in a little too hard and I actually broke off some pieces here, which I didn't want to break off. So I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing this in there. So let's put some glue on the edge of our container opening here. 
because really there is no other spot where it's going to grab onto. So I'm going to put some glue on there and get that piece in there. Just like that. I don't want to push it in too far. There's some glue on here from a previous project, so don't pay attention to that. All right, so I'm just going to add some more glue to make sure this is holding on. And I'm actually going to use these little pieces that broke off and slide them into any little holes like that one right there, okay? And just add some glue on the edge of the styrofoam as well as the container. And then slide little pieces like that. And don't worry about them sticking out. You just want to fill in right now. And the reason that I'm doing that is because I want the styrofoam to have a nice tight fit. I don't want it to get pushed in. So there we go. We're going to let that cool off so it'll be nice and hard. And then we'll come back and do the next step. All right, so once everything has hardened, you know, the glue has hardened on here and your styrofoam is not going to move, you can now start shaving at the top, getting rid of the little clumps like that. Being careful not to cut too far in. There we go. Just like that. All right. This is ready for the next step. All right, so the next step will involve our moss and our greenery pins. Okay, so I'm gonna take some moss now. You could choose to add the moss after you've added flowers, but to prep the arrangement, or, or rather the container before, we're gonna go on ahead and add it now, and I'm gonna add it right here on the little edges because I don't want that to show. You could choose to just add some hot glue and put this on there. But I wouldn't do that on the very top because you will be pushing in stems into the styrofoam and the hard hot glue will keep a stem from pushing in there. So we don't want to have that all covered up with any hot glues at all. So actually there's some here from a, uh, this was used in a previous arrangement, the styrofoam. So there's some glue on top of here that I'm just going to kind of nibble off. All right, so to attach this, I'm going to use my greenery pins and this will also attach that little styrofoam piece that I put here to the bigger piece because it's going to go through both, just like that. All right, so I'm going to cover anything that's on the sides. And there we go. Well, I was going to do the next step and I felt to tell you to keep putting uh, the uh, moss on the top to cover these bits here. What I did is I kind of opened it up a little bit before I actually stuck it on there. So open up your moss, give it some little holes uh, before you put it on there so that the stems of your flowers will have a place to go through. And then we'll put it, pin it down with our greenery pin. And the pin is nice and thin so the stems will be able to maneuver around them rather than having hot glue. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to prep my flowers and I decided that I do want to use uh, three flowers. I, I may still change my mind and only use two, but I'm gonna cut three off of here even though there is four flowers that I could use, but the container is really small, so I don't really need that much. I'm gonna take a couple of these uh, beautiful leaves from the sunflowers, they're really pretty, so I'm gonna grab two of those and I'm gonna save this one for another project. All right, so here are my tulips, and I'm going to cut off some tulips, and I think I'm going to cut about five of them. I'm going to cut them at the very bottom of the stem, so I want the longest bit of it. Now, initially, I didn't care for this leaf on the uh, tulip, and I felt like I'm going to have way too much greenery because I do have these large leaves, and then I want to use this um, ivy. So I felt like I'm going to pull these off. My sister-in-law said she actually didn't mind them, so they may go in, they may not. I'm not sure because I feel like the green is a little too shiny for the other two tones, which are a little bit like a dusty kind of a green. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull one off for now. And I may not use them now. I have a rogue flower here that keeps popping off the stem. So I'm going to look for that stem. Here it is. I'm going to use that. Now, when you have a flower that keeps popping off like that on you, add some glue, just like I'm going to do now. Add some glue and get it back in there. All right, and just let it dry. Okay, so I said I was going to use five. I'll cut another three and we'll be back. Okay, so now I have the greenery. And what I'm going to do is it has these longer bits right here and then it's got these shorter stems. 
right here at the base. And then of course it's got these long vines. These long vines are way too big for my container. So I'm actually going to cut off one of these for now, these taller uh, stem bits. Cut one of those. And then I'm gonna cut two of these shorter ones. And after some consideration, I decided that I am not going to use leaves that are on the tulips because I don't feel like it goes with it. So I'm gonna leave those off and just use this greenery. Okay, so I've been looking at these two larger leaves that I'm using for these sunflowers. And as you saw that I pulled them out of the uh, bush. These were attached to the bush, but there was no stem on them. It was just a little knob where it was attached. So there's no stem here really to poke this into my arrangement. I could use some floral tape and tape them to the sides here, which would look perfectly fine. But unfortunately, I don't have this uh, tone of floral tape, which it does exist. Uh, I only have a darker green and I really don't want to add that on there. I could just hot glue it somewhere underneath here, but then that comes out a little too much. So what I decided to do was to add a greenery pin to the bottom here, as you can see right there, so that then I can use that to stick into the styrofoam. All right, so what I did is I went in through the little hole and then I just pushed the greenery pin and you have to use some strength here and some force to kind of poke it through. And it might make your greenery pin go crooked. You'll just strain it up. See, it went through, it penetrated through. You just have to use a little bit of strength. Just be careful not to poke yourself. And then just get that in there and then just twist it around so that it's facing downward. And if you have to reshape it, then just do that. There we go. Simple as that, and now we can insert it into the styrofoam. All right, so now to start putting my arrangement together, I do wanna put a bow on there, and typically I like to add the bow before I add any flowers, and the reason that I do that is because I don't wanna have all these flowers everywhere, and then I'm gonna put a bow that's just gonna completely hide a flower, and really make it unnecessary to have put that flower there in the first place, or even some greenery. So I'm gonna put the bow on first and then work around it. And for my bow, I'm gonna make something very simple because it is a very small container. It actually doesn't even need a bow, but I want to add it on there because this is a gift for my sister-in-law, so I wanted to have that on there. All right, so I'm just gonna measure a little tail. A pinch right there, and that is my cat, if you hear him in the background. He doesn't need me, he doesn't care about me until I am busy. And those of you who are cat, uh, you know, you belong to a cat, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, one more little loop. And then the length for my little tail and cut that right off, just like that. And we'll fix the ends of the ribbon later. Okay, so then we'll go ahead and get a piece of wire right here. And I'm gonna take one of these little greenery pins and I'm gonna put that right here also at the center of my bow. So when I put my wire around it, I want it to go around the ribbon and that greenery pin. So now we're gonna Tighten that up. And the reason that I did that is because I want my bow to have this little greenery pin so then I can just insert it into the side of my arrangement and put it right into the styrofoam. Okay, so that's good. And then I can just twist the ends or just trim them off once I know that it's nice and tight in there. You can add a little dab of glue in there just to make sure that that greenery pin doesn't flop around. Okay, so I'm gonna just uh, trim the ends of my ribbon doing a little dovetail by folding it in half. And from the fold up to the ends, the edges, just do that and you get a little dovetail. Okay. All right, so just a little bit of glue on the little pins here. And then just find a little spot there where there's some styrofoam that you know you're gonna get that. And then just push that right in. And there we go, just fix your bow. I'm going to go ahead and just do a little bit of poofing. I'm not going to fix it up too much till my arrangement is complete because I'll probably squish it as I'm preparing it. So here we go. That is what it looks like with a little bow. So you can decide that maybe you don't want a bow and just do that, okay? All right, so we're going to start adding our flowers and our greenery. Okay, so my sunflowers are going to be my focal flower. This is the main flower of my arrangement. This is sort of a centerpiece. I really don't know where my sister-in-law plans to put this, so I'm just gonna create it as a centerpiece. And what I mean by that is that it's going to be seen from every side, possibly in the center of a little table. Uh, normally, if I know that it's going to be against, you know, on a table that's maybe up against a wall, say I'm the wall, <laughs> or the background behind me, 
uh, then you would direct all your flowers to be seen from the front and the sides and then you wouldn't worry too much about the back okay but this time I don't know where she's going to put it so I'm going to treat this as a centerpiece so I'm taking the longest stem flower that I have these other two have a shorter stem so I'm going to take this one I need to decide how tall I want my arrangement I don't want it too tall because the taller it is the more I have to put in there but I don't want it too short because I don't want it all just bunched up in there so I'm going to choose a nice height like this and then I'm going to look at the side. I'm going to hold it up against the side here or where the styrofoam is so I can see how far in of a stem I have here and if that's enough to go in. I feel like that's enough. It's only about an inch or so. Uh, if this was any longer I'd probably cut it because I don't want to have to push too much into this piece of styrofoam because as we did in the very beginning you saw that it doesn't go all the way to the bottom. It's just right here in the opening. So we don't want to push that styrofoam piece in, even though we glued it in really nicely. So now I'm just going to add some glue. You don't have to glue in your flowers, but I do highly recommend that you do that. Okay, so I'm just going to push it in about an inch, like that. And I'm going to kind of bend it a little bit forward, like that, so we can see it from this side. And then the other flowers will be seen from the other uh, angles. Alright, so now I'm going to take another one of the flowers and pick another angle. I'm going to choose over here. And it's really short, so I'm not going to cut, obviously. I'm going to leave that length. And just find a little sweet spot there to push it in. And I put it in at an angle, as you saw. Sometimes you have to bend your flowers a little bit to get them at the angle you want. If, you, you know, if it doesn't go in at the angle you need, then bend the flower, the stem, okay? Bend that to go where you want it to go. Okay, I feel like this one is seen very well, so we can see the flower this way we can see a flower this way so now we need a flower over here and I'm going to do the same thing where I make a little room here and today's a day where I'm, I'm getting a lot of hot glue on my fingers you guys so I'm getting burned quite a bit okay so there we go so now as you can see and we have a little triangle that's why I work with odd numbers we're working in a triangle of florals okay now that it's got those flowers in I can use my filler flowers which are these little uh, tulips and I'm going to choose this one because it's the longest one to go aside my sunflower and it can actually protrude a little bit beyond my sunflower if I wanted to and that's okay it can be a little taller and this one's going to be about the same height because the stem barely is right here on the edge so I'm just going to push it in just a little bit and kind of align it right next to this beautiful sunflower and it's going to kind of camouflage the back of the sunflower here as you can see so you're not seeing this like when you're looking at it from this side you're not seeing this bareness but you're seeing a pretty little flower there and then of course we'll add some greenery which will also cover it up all right so I'm going to go ahead and fill it up with the rest of these I've got you know an even number so I'm going to put one 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 and one on this side okay I feel like this one's a little long and I want it here in the front so I'm actually going to trim this one I'm not taking it off of here because this part right here is not very stiff and it won't go into the styrofoam I need this hard plastic and I also want this to not come off so I'm going to add some glue because it keeps wanting to come off there we go and now we can add some glue to that little bit and then just look for some styrofoam there we go and as you see I went under the little handle this time rather than being on you know right here because then this handle will keep it from you know shaping it to where we want it and I want it to go forward like that and give it a nice roundness when we look at it from the top all right it is nice and round like that and if we look at it from the sides we've got enough flowers you know at every opening here all right, so now all we have to do is just fill it up with some greenery, and I think that will be it. So let's add these beautiful, huge leaves. I want one here at the front of this sunflower here, kind of like that. Let's see, can I bend that? Yes, a little bit. I want that right there. And I feel like I want the other one to come out from under this flower right here because on this other flower I have the bow right here so I want it under this flower right here 
See that leaf under that flower? It gives it something that cradles it. And this gives my arrangement sort of like a, this is the point where as wide as I want it to go, okay? So you wanna keep an eye on how far you know out your leaves or flowers come out. So that'll be the, uh, the uh, what is it, the circumference, the diameter, the surface area that this whole arrangement is taking. There we go, it's been a long time for me, and, and um, I forgot my, my correct terms. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna take this one that's the tallest one and I'm gonna add it right in here with a tulip and this taller uh, sunflower. And as if I hold it up against here, I notice that this is a little too long, so I'm gonna trim some off. Excuse me, I'm banging up this beautiful little picture. I don't wanna break it. All right, let's add this tall one right in here and I moved the little flowers up I mean the leaves on here a little bit because they were too far down all right so the camera died on me so I don't know if you saw me but I ended up putting this one taller stem of greenery right in the middle and I put it uh, between this larger or taller sunflower and this tulip because remember I said that would be some greenery that would kind of hide the back of this sunflower so as you can see right there it hides it really well. And the other thing that I mentioned, and I don't know if it got caught, but I'll say it again if, just in case, is that these particular stems, the leaves bits here, they slide up and down and they twist you know, around so that you can arrange them. So push them up as high as you can before you insert them. And once you've got them in there, you can push down the little leaves and then kind of twist them around if you need to so they're not all like going in the same way, but you have them fanning out in different directions. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I have these two extra, so I want to put one where there isn't any large leaves like these here. So I'm going to add this one in here. And I'm actually going to trim this down quite a bit. So let's trim that to a really short stem like that. We'll put that right in there. And then like I said, fan out the leaves. I'm going to push down a little bit on this little bit of leaves. Oh, I was pull, pushing down the wrong one. Okay, the bottom one. I ended up pushing both of them down at the same time. Okay, so there, look, that fills in that little space really well. And because we have that moss inside, we don't see the, the styrofoam. So obviously we don't need to add any more on that side. And on here, I have this beautiful big leaf here and I have a beautiful big leaf over here. So I don't need any more. So all I need is maybe just some greenery right here in the front with this little um, tulip here. So I'm gonna take this stem, the last one, because remember I only cut three. I'm gonna slide all the greenery upward and I'm gonna make a short, short stem. I don't want it to be too long because I don't want it to protrude too far out and then cover the little, uh, what is this called? The stout? <laughs> And then of course I don't want it to hide too much of the, the handle. I was gonna say candle. Okay, so we're gonna put some glue here. So I'm gonna cut this short and stick it in there and push it in as much as we can. There we go, without making the leaves too squished up. And there we go, you guys. You can see how that went in there, but it's not covering the beautiful water can design that we have here, or watering can. And then of course we have a little handle right there and it's not getting too covered up. So this is it you guys. And the last step is for me to just kind of, you know, poof up this little bow or, you know, wrinkle it up as much as I want. I'm happy with the way it is. So that's what the little bow is looking like. Here's what the arrangement is looking like from every angle. All right, everyone, I have completed my small mouth opening arrangement. I don't know what to call this, you guys. It is my project number two for my 2021 floral design. I'm gonna be having a little series and I have other arrangements that I want to do for you. If you do have any suggestions, go ahead and leave that in the comments down below. You can also visit my Trisha's Creations Facebook page and leave uh, some suggestions there. Maybe you find a picture uh, on Pinterest and you'd like me to recreate that. So let me know what your thoughts are. And uh, well, I have completed my arrangement. I hope that you enjoyed watching this and that you learned something 
something that you can take something with a small little opening such as this little watering can and uh, sometimes you find uh, small vases that have a very small they're long and they have very small openings and you think okay maybe just one or two flowers will fall in there but if you follow the uh, example that I did by adding the styrofoam at just the very tip covering it with moss you can actually make it into a, a round uh, more fuller arrangement as you see here in front of you there we go I think it looks really pretty I'm very happy with it I think my sister-in-law will love it I'm going to send her a picture immediately of it so I know that she'll be coming and grabbing it real quick so I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up I hope that you two will give me a big old thumbs up and you leave a kind comment down below by the way everyone it is very important that you do give me a thumbs up and that you do also leave a comment please try to leave emojis out of it I'm not sure what the situation is with that but it seems to kind of affect the algorithm and well um, monetized uh, videos count a lot on that they count on the likes and they count on the comments not just the views all right so by that also if you haven't subscribed please subscribe hit that red button down there and then you will see a little bell go ahead and click on that too and it'll give you a little choice please choose all so that you can notify of all of my videos when I upload and you'll have a notification right away otherwise you won't get notified you won't be able to see what I'm doing you might have to search around if you have to do that so in order to eliminate yourself all that problems just get yourself a little little ding on that little notification you'll be notified you'll be able to view the, vi the videos right away and you'll be also helping me out this is the arrangement that I did last week I hope that you saw this this beautiful arrangement is going to my niece in case y'all are wondering what I'm going to do with this one I do have another arrangement that I want to work on that is going to have sunflowers that I'm going to work on actually for myself so I'll be doing another one I don't know yet if I'm going to make it a arrangement like this or if I'm going to put it on a wreath or make a swag or something out of it. So maybe you guys can chime in and tell me what you want to see with that arrangement. And I plan to do it this week. So let me know right away. All right, everyone. That's it. Please share on your social medias. Take care of each other. Be kind to each other. Spread the love. We all need to spread the love right now. And as always, enjoy.